Researchers at the Biodesign Institute are exploring new frontiers in science and looking for ways to improve the quality of life for people of all ages and all around the world. One of these researchers is the 2020 Arizona Bioscience Researcher of the Year. I am Rosa Krahmalnik Brown. I am originally from Mexico City. I came to the US to get a PhD in environmental engineering at Georgia Tech. And at the end of my PhD, I was recruited to come to ASU, where I have been for 15 years. I'm an environmental engineer by training, but I have always worked with microbes that provide some service to society. The gut microbiome or the gut is just another environment. And so we, I started working on how this environment affects the microbes and how the microbes affect this environment. At the gene level, we're 1% human and 99% microbes. Microorganisms help us with functions that are simple or complex. The most simple ones are digest our food and get more calories and energies and nutrients out of our food. They produce vitamins that are important for us. They train our immune system. They protect the lining or, or intestines, for example. They protect us against pathogens. A function of microorganisms that we have been studying more recently is um, how they produce chemicals that can interact with our brain and change um, our behavior. Microbiota transfer therapy is transferring microbes from a very, very healthy individual to one that is lacking beneficial microbes. And we treated 18 children with autism and at the end of the treatment, the 80% of their gastrointestinal symptoms were gone. And two years later, 15 of the kids that we treated in the beginning were categorized as severe autism. At the end of the study, only three remained in severe autism. And we actually had eight participants that um, fell on the category that was below the cutoff for mild autism. Thanks to these exciting results, FDA has actually granted fast track for microbiota transfer therapy uh, for autism disorders. In the theology of autism, there is a small component that it's genetic, um, a component that it's environmental, and now we're seeing that there could be a component that it's the microbes that live in our intestines. The environment affects the microbes, and the microbes affect the environment. So this is an important link of, of what I do and who I am and how this also can affect the etiology of um, autism. I think support comes in many different ways and I have had a lot of support from my colleagues and from my collaborators. So I, I, I think that's one that I need to mention. Jim Adams, of course, has been an, an amazing collaborator with autism. Bruce Rittman, who is the person that brought me to biodesign and is the, the director of my the previous center where I work has also been a great supporter and helper, but I also have gotten support, of course, from funding agencies, which I wouldn't have come this far without that support. 